linear systems. How many solutions are there to each of the given linear system? Well, here we have a couple examples. Each are linear systems. Linear systems, as you understand, have at least two linear equations, right? As we have already discussed in one of the videos on possible number of solutions to linear systems, you know that two lines can intersect at one point. They will do so if they are not parallel. Or two lines may not intersect at all if they are, if they are, they are parallel. And if they don't have same y-intercept, that means they are parallel. But if they have same y-incident and they are parallel, then they are coincident. They are one over other. They are the same lines. And they intersect at infinite number of points. So the best way to solve this problem is to write your equation into slope-intercept form. Right? I hope you remember slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals to mx plus b. Right? So that means y equals to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept right now here will it's already there in slope intercept form the only thing different is the 7x written here right but well you can make out it should be to make it clear for you there's no need to write this so we'll rewrite these equations into slope and intercept form right here you can see the slopes are self right so we'll call this as line one we'll let's call them as line one here and these ones as line two okay and therefore we'll use a subscript m1 for slope of these lines and b1 as y intercept of these lines okay now here what you see is that slopes m1 and m2 are seven right so we have m1 equals to m2 which is equals to 7 right and b is not same right b1 is equal to what minus 4 correct and b2 equals to 5 b1 and b2 are y intercept so they are different right so we say b1 is not equal to b2 correct so under this condition what should you what should be or how many should be the solutions right can you tell me yes the lines are parallel right and they are not coincident they are parallel and they have different y intercept therefore we have no solution so how many solutions we'll say no solution right and condition you can see as the slopes are same but y intercepts are different let's do the same thing here you can write this line as y equals to x minus 5 correct and you can isolate y here and you can write y equals to minus x plus 5 correct here slopes are different what are slopes m1 is equal to 1 right and m2 is equals to minus 1 do you see that so they are different right and b1 and b2 are also different b1 the y intercept is minus 5 here and in the second equation the y intercept is plus 5 correct they are different so these two lines have different slopes and if the lines have different slopes they will intersect at only one point so they have one solution is it okay In the next one, we'll again isolate this. So once we isolate this, we get y, let me write first, 2y equals to 2x plus 10. And then y is equals to, we'll divide by 2 and get x plus 5. And here y is given as x plus 5. Do you notice? Slopes and y-intercepts are same. So we have m1 equals to m2 equals to 1 right how about y intercept b1 is equals to b2 and is equals to 5 right so how many solutions do you expect here infinite right 
why so? We call such lines as coincident. They practically are same lines, right? One over the other. One over the other. So here, they intersect at every point. Every point is common to them, right? So they have infinite solutions. Line parallel to x-axis. Now a line parallel to x-axis can be written as y equals to b because the slope is 0, right? And here we have y equals to 5. Parallel to x-axis means a horizontal line, right? So here m1 is equal to m2 and is equal to 0, right? So we can show any line parallel to x-axis will be like this, is it okay? At 5, this one is 5. But the other lines could be like this, any line, correct? Even x-axis is a line, correct? But remember one thing, that the line could be at 5 also. Is that okay? So we know the slopes are parallel. So if, if our b is not equal to 5, correct? Then we have no solution. Okay? Because then they are parallel lines and they have different y intercept. But if b equals to 5, then, then we expect infinite solutions, right? Because then they become same lines. Do you see that? So this is a very important aspect to remember when it comes to a general equation because we have said line parallel to x-axis. We have not specified which particular line. We are not saying x-axis or any other line parallel to x-axis. So let the general equation be y equals to b, right? So all these lines have m0. The slope is 0. We know that. Slopes are same. But if y intercept is also same, then they are exactly same lines and they will have infinite solutions. Otherwise, they are parallel lines and they will have no solution. I hope with this example, the concept of linear system is absolutely clear and this will open up your mind to all possibilities uh, when you are looking for solutions in linear systems okay? and help you solve so many problems which we are going to deal with. My recommendation is that you should always do this example first and then move on to the other examples. Okay, thank you.